such a depressing topic up next because spring has sprung, summer is almost upon us and my body is just not ready. Can we just tell it to wait a little bit? Just give me maybe about a month or two. Just wait a little bit. I'm not ready. Or well, someone who's going to be speaking to us about the matters of diet now uh, is coming up next. So perhaps I should pay careful attention, but I really am not ready. All right. Well, historically, the well-renowned Banting diet uh, was founded by the once overweight William Banting, who managed to develop an eating plan incorporating ingredients high in fat and low in carbs. The popular book, Professor Tim Noakes' The Meal Revolution, uh, has also drawn on that eating plan, challenging mindsets. Well, recently, the Banting Kitchen restaurant in Cape Town emerged, endorsing that eating plan as a much as uh, eating as much as indulgence is a lifestyle as well. That's what they preach. Lindsay Hughes, the Banting Kitchen brand manager, joins me now uh, from our Cape Town studios to tell us more about that. Lindsay, a very good morning to you. You look like you're ready. You're very, you're, you're ready. Your good body morning. is so ready. <laughs> <laughs> Are you well? I'm good, thank you. And you? Good, good, thanks. Tell us a bit more about uh, the Banting diet and then you can also speak to us uh, about uh, the Banting Kitchen restaurant that is open in Cape Town. Okay, the Banting diet, we offer a full low-carb, high-fat menu. Um, it's, everybody seems to be Banting at the moment here in uh, Cape Town just now, so we've had a huge demand. We opened on the 22nd of August and it's all going really well. What's the, what's the general culture when it comes to, to food consumption in South Africa? Uh, where do we stand? Perhaps on a scale of 1 to 10, are we, are we good healthy eaters, uh, being 10 of course, and not so much all the way to 1? Where would you put us on the scale? In South Africa, I think um, most healthy, but on you know, 9 and 10, um, I've travelled all over the world and uh, you know, this is definitely the place to be and uh, healthy wise, no, all good. So the idea of the Banting Kitchen, how did it come about? Um, originally um, inspired by William Banting, he uh, published the Letter of Corpulence in the 1800s. And to Bant, you know, the word diet, even though we don't like to use the word diet, it is a healthy lifestyle. Um, I have, my two children are insulin dependent diabetic type 1. So I had to lead a healthy lifestyle, um, good diet. And when I uh, read the Tim Noakes book, that gave me the confidence that um, I was actually doing something right with my boys. Um, less carbs means, you know, less insulin injections. Um, you know, it's also good exercise and a regular eating breakfast, dinner and tea, a nice routine. And it seems to work for me and my family. And I've owned restaurants before and had the opportunity to open a restaurant Therefore, I thought it would be a nice opportunity to give families um, to cater for the dietary requirements. You can come along and have a nice banting meal. Um, and if the husband would like to have a nice steak with french fries, we're not you know, claiming to be purists. We offer alternatives. However, we like to offer collie mash and a bit of sweet potato and educate them that you can have a nice meal that's low in carbs. I was going to ask you what we can expect on the menu because uh, the word diet, you're so right, has such a negative connotation. I mean, it, it just seems so restrictive. It's got an element of deprivation. Whenever you think diet, you think, oh my gosh, I'm going to starve <laughs> and have nothing to eat. Do you plan on perhaps rolling out this model to other parts of the country? I know uh, the restaurant is, uh, is opening in Cape Town. Can we perhaps see one in Johannesburg soon? I would love to um, open one in Johannesburg and we are already looking at locations just now. Mm, so, so exciting. What's the one thing that you would like to say to dispel perhaps any myths uh, about the Banting diet and also, of course, the v food revo the meal revolution that's uh, it's come under some attack from some quarters? What's the one thing that you would like to dispel? I would like to say, do you know what? I've lived this lifestyle most definitely for the last five years. Um, me, myself and my boys, we have, I mean... We're all good in health and reading the book, when you, I'm not a scientist and I'm not a doctor. I'm a mum of three gorgeous boys and I, I have a great restaurant that has a great food and energy. And I please encourage everybody, um, you know, to, to band away. Right now there's 150,000 people banting um, in Cape Town. So please come on down to the restaurant for the full dining experience. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. 
You know what? It's a date. When next I'm in Cape Town, I will definitely <laughs> come through and be banting. Please Thank you so do. much for your time. Uh, thanks for Thank joining you. us. Lindsay Hughes, the Banting Kitchen Brand Manager, joining us from the mother city, Cape Town, and putting us all to shame. We are not ready here in Johannesburg when it comes to... Oh, let me speak for myself. Maybe you are ready in that case. Congratulations to you and well done. Valen is also ready. I don't know if you saw her skirt today. She's got a Veza, a lovely long slit showing off her beautiful, beautiful physique. She's definitely ready.